Hi, I'm Austin Dillon with Pierce Phelps, and today we're looking at the 40 MBFQ floor console and under ceiling unit from Carrier Bryant. Floor consoles are ideal when looking to meet heating and cooling needs in spaces with pitched roof lines and knee walls, and are often seen in finished attics, rooms over garages, or Cape Cod style homes. Under ceiling units can be useful options in large spaces and are commonly found in churches, restaurants, kitchens, social halls, or any area where wall placement options are limited. The 40 MBFQ comes in 12 through 58,000 BTU capacity options and is compatible with both our single and multi-zone outdoor equipment. The 12 through 24,000 BTU iterations are compatible with the 38 MARB and previous generation 38 MAQB model single zone outdoor units, as well as our 38 MGRQ multi-zone outdoor units. The 36 through 58,000 BTU units are compatible with the 38 MBRBQ and previous generation 38 MBRQ model single zone outdoor units only. The 12,000 BTU model is our most common option and features a cabinet style different than that of the 18 through 58,000 BTU models. However, the 18 through 58,000 BTU units may be mounted horizontally and so provide for an under ceiling option. The 40 MBFQ sizes 12 through 24,000 require 230 volt power and wire to a corresponding outdoor unit using a 14 gauge stranded four conductor tray cable. This wire is landed on the L1, L2, S and ground terminals of the indoor and outdoor equipment. This connection provides both communication and power to the indoor equipment. Sizes 36 through 58 are also 230 volt, but require a 14 gauge three conductor wire for power and a separate 16 gauge stranded wire for communication. When this is the case, terminals S1 and S2 will be present on both indoor and outdoor equipment. Line set connections are made via mechanical flares on the indoor and outdoor units. On multi-zone units, Line set size is dictated by the indoor unit connection. The 40 MBFQ offers a number of features, including louver and fan control, LED toggling, auto restart, follow me, as well as dry and turbo modes. It also includes a forced or emergency operation mode in the event that the remote becomes lost or broken. Additionally, the 12,000 BTU unit provides for the option to select air discharge through either the top or the top and bottom of the unit. The unit ships with a low resistance washable filter, which is easily accessed by disengaging the locking tabs of the front grille and allowing it to swing forward. The filter is then held in place by tabs at the top and bottom. Installation and some service procedures will require that the front panel be removed. This is accomplished by first removing the four screws that secure the panel to the chassis. Once the screws have been removed, the unit can be unclipped at the bottom at either side by applying light pressure away from the frame. The panel may then be removed by lifting up and forward over the louver blade. When installed vertically, the unit ships with a mounting bracket intended to be anchored to the wall. The bracket should be installed to provide for a recommended four inches beneath the unit to help facilitate drain and refrigerant connections and serviceability. The unit is then slid vertically down onto the bracket. The 40 MBFQ allows for line set and drain penetrations from either the right or left hand sides, as well as the rear or bottom. The unit provides a vertical stub for refrigerant connections, and care should be taken to ensure that all refrigerant lines and connections are insulated to prevent condensation. The unit drain pan is equipped with a flexible hose that may be connected to either a gravity drain or condensate pump. When connecting to a gravity drain, care should be taken to ensure that the connector is pitched correctly and does not create a trap that will prevent water from draining from the pan. There is an inline condensate pump accessory available from Carrier, in addition to a variety of other aftermarket options. The Carrier 230 volt pump is powered from the L1 and L2 terminals of the indoor unit terminal block and has a safety circuit designed to break the connection between the S terminal and corresponding incoming wire. Condensate from the unit drain pan is piped into the pump reservoir, which connects to the pump via provided vinyl tubing. This allows, when necessary, for the pump itself to be positioned above the level of the drain outlet. Out of the box, the unit senses space or return air temperature from a sensor located in front of the control box cover. This sensor may be extended to a remote location using the kit number shown here. Power and control wiring are landed on a terminal block 
which is accessed by removing the front control box cover. In the event that service is required, the control compartment may be removed completely to allow the technician access to the indoor unit control board. This is accomplished by first removing a single screw, connecting the control box to the chassis, and then disconnecting any external molexes. The control box may then be slid straight out and the cover removed to provide access to the board and factory connections. Out of the box, the unit comes ready for operation via either the RG57 or RG10 wireless remote and senses temperature from the previously shown return air temperature sensor. All 12 through 58,000 B2 sizes are compatible with the KSACN 0101 wired controller. The control comes with its own proprietary cable, which may be extended up to 160 feet using multiples of the part number below. This cable connects to a harness located under the front panel of the indoor unit. The KSACN 0101 also provides for group control when necessary. Additional control options include the KSAIC 0301230 24V interface, which is compatible with all sizes, as well as the KSACN 05 and 0701 wire controllers, which may be used on sizes 18 through 58. There is also a Wi-Fi accessory available for the 40 MBFQ, sizes 18 through 58. The Wi-Fi module installs onto CN40 of the indoor unit control board. If a 501 or 701 wired controller is being used, the Wi-Fi adapter is installed in place of the provided adapter harness. When used, the KSACN 501 and 701 controllers can provide service inquiry and fault status information. Access to the service inquiry is achieved by ensuring that the unit is in the off position and holding copy for five seconds. Once the technician has entered into the service menu, he or she can check fault codes and sensor readings. In the event that the primary control becomes lost or damaged, a manual button on the front grill may be pressed one time and the unit will run in the auto mode with a set point of 76 degrees. The same button may be pressed two times to place the unit into a test mode which will initiate a 30 minute cooling cycle. In the parts bag, the technician will also find slit insulation intended to cover any exposed copper or flare connections at the indoor unit. Two ferrite cores are also included. Incoming wires should be routed through these cores to reduce any electromagnetic interference that may affect system communication. Regular maintenance of the 40 MBFQ includes inspection and cleaning of filters on a regular basis. The frequency with which this is required may be dependent upon several factors, including annual runtime and the general conditions within the space. While the filter is removed, the coil is easily accessible for inspection and cleaning. Finally, the drain pan and drain connections, including any condensate pumps, should be inspected and cleaned when necessary. Floor consoles have been and remain a staple indoor unit option for ductless systems, and there are a variety of applications into which no other option will fit. When these jobs arise, the 40 MBFQ is the solution. However, with a variety of control options and the ability to double as an under ceiling unit, the 40 MBFQ is more than an obligatory offering and one that can be used to meet a variety of applications. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Again, I'm Austin Dillon with Pierce Phelps, and as always, please reach out to me with any questions you might have regarding Carrier Bryant Douglas. Thank you and have a great day.